E3 wouldn't be the same without Nintendo. This firm has been up and down more than Mario over the decades. Good year or bad year for Nintendo? Right now, it's a great year. On the up now, though, let's gloss over the likes of the GameCube and the Wii U, because the Switch, just over a year old now, seems to have switched Nintendo's fortunes around. The Switch has been selling gangbusters. It's already sold more than the Wii U sold its entire lifetime. And now Nintendo is cranking it up even more with big announcements. One of them, it's taking Fortnite. It's massive news. The phenomenon that is sweeping the world, said to be making more than $200 million a month for its owners, now available in China, now available on Nintendo's flagship device too. Is this going to make a massive difference to the amount of people playing Fortnite? Because it seems that everybody's playing it already. I think it's just going to make it easier to play Fortnite. I think a lot of people playing Fortnite right now are playing on their phones. It's a lot of students ask any teacher and Fortnite is an epidemic in classrooms. So I, I think playing a game on a Switch with physical controls is just right off the bat more pleasant than playing on the phone. So I think it's going to make Fortnite better for a lot of people. Nintendo is a company with portable gaming running through its DNA. It's been selling things like this since the very early days, which explains why it's put so much into the Nintendo Switch. And it's the Switch that's helping it move into another key arena. That is the eSports revolution, because Nintendo may not be considered one of the big players yet. Could its other big announcement, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, change that? They talked about that game for so long during this presentation. It really does seem like they're thinking about the hardcore base. Is Nintendo in a good position, though, to adopt esports, to, to push that forward? I think they are. Um, Super Smash Bros. Switch, which was just revealed yesterday, leans on all of those established IPs. You have Mario, you have Link from the Legend of Zelda, you have Yoshi, you have Star Fox, which sometimes doesn't get the screen time it deserves, and that's the only place you can see it. So you bring in all of those people who like those franchises, and then you have the people who are good at Super Smash Brothers, and you bring them together, and they could have tournaments that would sell out arenas around the world if they really wanted to. And so for Nintendo's loyal following, another exciting year ahead. This staple of the games industry aiming to get one up on the competition. Phil Lavelle, CGTN at E3 in Los Angeles.